Hello, everybody. My name is Whitney Nicely East, and I am hosting this blab. I usually do a blab in the mornings, and this is my first evening one to see how it works and if I can get a bigger crowd up. But uh, we'll have to check and see who's going to show up tonight. Um, I do not have a guest. I usually have a guest on with me, and that is very fun. But tonight I'm just by myself. So I thought I'd take this time to answer some questions that a lot of people have for me. And so all day long on Instagram and Twitter and um, on, in my email, I've been just collecting questions that I have. And so the top, like, you know, five questions, we'll just hammer through those. Um, so the first one is, who am I and why am I? Why do I like about real estate? So my name, as I said, is Whitney Nicely East. I just got married in October, so I'm not exactly ready to just be Whitney East yet, um, but I'm working on that. So Whitney Nicely East for now. Um, my website is still WhitneyNicely.com, and that's actually kind of a joke because when I went to register WhitneyEast.com, it looked like WhiteYeast.com to me. So I got it, but I'm still going by WhitneyNicely.com. So that's a little bit about me and why I'm not going by Whitney East, even though I just got married in October. Um, the next question is, what do I do? I'm super busy. I'm all over the place all the time. So what do I do? And I will say again that I am the real estate broker for Whitney Buys Houses. We are a real estate firm in Tennessee and in Georgia, and I manage our firm. The really cool thing about my firm is that my brother, Tyler, is the only agent that I have on the roster, if you will. So I don't manage a whole bunch of agents. I don't have a lot of overhead in that perspective. And we buy houses. I don't take listings. I don't represent buyers. I don't do a lot of Sunday open houses and hang out and hope somebody comes through. I just don't do that. I, I'm not made to do that. I am a control freak. So I go in, I buy the property. I get a personal interest and disclosure sign that says that I am licensed and that everybody knows I'm licensed and that I am buying this property or that I am selling this property. So that's what I do. Um, I am also the real estate auctioneer, principal auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions. It is my own little auction house. I am the only person there. I am the president. I am the secretary. I am it. So it is not my daddy's company. It is not in my husband's company. I am the real estate auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions. And you can see all of our properties, acre.bid. Uh, I'm part of a big group of auctioneers. There's about one of us in every state and we sell real estate online at auctions and we do fancy stuff. We do the big stuff. I can do, you know, a hundred thousand dollar house. That's fine. But I really like million dollar lake houses and I really like hundred acres of timberland and I really like industrial properties, warehouses, all that kind of fun stuff. So that's what I do in real estate auctioneering. I am also a general contractor and that's why I flip houses. I got my general contractor's license in 08, real estate license in 11 and auctioneer's license in 12. So it took all three of those in over four years. And then I had to work for another real estate company um, for a couple of years. So I have been doing this for since 08. I flipped my first house in 09 and that was really fun. Um, I flipped it with my parents and it was good. So I've been flipping houses for a while and I did six in 2015. I hope to do, you know, 10 in 2016. I also buy apartments. My husband and I own some apartments. We own 19 units. Um, that breaks down to an 11 unit, a five unit, and a triplex. And I actually manage the triplex, but we have a property manager that handles the bigger pieces. So that's who I am. That's what I do. That's how I fit. And that's how I am so great at real estate is that I've been doing it since 08 when the market was down and awful. And I am actually an active investor. 
uh, and we got some people coming in now. Hey, y'all. Um, my chat bar is not working over here on the right side. Um, so I'm sorry if you're asking a question, put the slash Q in front of it and I'll get to your question. All right. So I focus on owner financing, lease options, rent to owns. I do creative financing. I very rarely go to a bank and get financing because I just don't have to. I, you know, went to class. I spent a week every month of 2014 in Jacksonville, Florida or Atlanta learning from Ron Legrand how to do real estate, how to buy with no money, no credit, how to sell with no money, no credit and make large chunks in between. So I spent a week, at least a week, some months I spent more like two weeks in Jacksonville going to school to learn how to do this. So I have a lot of education on owner financing and lease options. A lot. Um, I even have been to some commercial real estate boot camps. I went to Anthony Chara's apartment class. I went through a couple other day classes with some other people and I love it. So I've kind of combined all of them into my own little world of real estate investing. And I've been doing this for about three years. I've done 30 deals and that is oh, most of the time I've been the buyer and the seller. Sometimes I've assigned, sometimes I've uh, just done an option. Sometimes I've just bought it with cash. So I've been doing this for a while. All right. So the next question people ask me is what is a lease option or rent to own or an owner financing and what is the difference? And I'll tell you that owner financing is my favorite. Owner financing means that the property is free and clear and that I, as the seller, I don't owe anything on it. There's no mortgage. There's no tax liens. There's nothing out there for it. So that's my favorite kind. This could be landlords, this could be inherited properties, this could be anybody and everybody that has free and clear property that you wanna buy. Lease options are very common, very commonly the way I sell my owner financing deals. So I buy with owner financing, I sell with lease options. And a lease option says that I have the option to lease this property for this amount of time and at the end, before the end of this time is up, I have the right to buy it at X amount. That's what a lease option says. A rent to own says about the same thing. I advertise a lot for a rent to own, but I really always end up doing a lease option. Um, there's some companies out there where you can do a rent to own on appliances or furniture, and that is where you put you know, the rental payment down and then you make a payment for a number of years at a certain percent of percentage of interest until you get it paid off and it's yours. That's not how a lease option works. And that's not how I sell properties on a traditional zone. Minor lease options. I will give you the option to lease, lease this property for this much a month with this much money up front for this price within this amount of time. And that's how I sell all of my properties. And most of my properties. Sometimes somebody comes through with just a cash offer and they just buy it. And at that point, I just assign my contract over to them. All right, today I talked about ARV on Periscope. I also talked about buying and holding real estate on Periscope. I love Periscope and I use the same handle, which is at Whit Buys Houses on Periscope. I do a daily real estate chat or real estate daily, and it's great. I love it. It's absolutely fun. Um, today we talked about ARV, so you can catch up on that. ARV or the ARV is the after repaired value. So it's the price that a property will be after you or a flipper has gone in and made all the repairs to it. ARV goes along with some formulas that I have that I use when I buy houses or I buy apartments or whatever it is I'm buying. But the most important thing, and when you talk to other investors, you need to know the lingo that they use and they're going to talk about ARV or they'll talk about ARV. 
and it's just a personal preference. I say ARV, and a lady in my rear group says ARV. Same thing, same difference, same amount of breath. All right, so if you want to, I'm very social on Instagram and Periscope. My Instagram handle is at Whitney Buys Houses. And my Periscope handle is at Wit by Give Me the Full. Amount of characters that I need. You can check. 